Here we are in the courthouse, basically we just got in about two and a half days ago. We've been tidying up various spaces and rooms, getting the courts clean and tidy, for putting on some mock trials at the 1%, the people who've put us into illegal wars for resources, the people who've, uh, through the banking system, have wrecked the economy, um, the 1% that owns 70% of the land, and uh, trying to raise some issues that's going to create a lot of awareness. This is one of the rooms, uh, this is sometimes conditions you find squat rooms in. It's a uh, you know, bit of rubbish and mess, but nothing that half an hour, an hour is tidying up, cleaning up, doesn't sort out. And you see some of the rooms we've already cleaned already. Uh, here we are, this would be one of the old like clerk's office or something, for taking in the paperwork for the different courts and trials. It's a bit messy when we found it, we've tidied it up, it's all nice and cleanish now. Yeah. Okay, so this is the old cells, and uh, some bright spark for the media started chalking up the names of the people that are going to go in them, like Goldman Sachs, Tony Lyre, War Money for War Crimes, uh, Boris Johnson, Fred Goodwin, and then the RBS guy, little posters, JP Morgan. I just watched a very interesting video on the live stream the other night about how J.P. Morgan pushed to set up a central bank in America and President Jackson defeated him. And one of his things in 1840s or 50s said, I defeated the banks. And then back in 1910, J.P. Morgan, uh, Rockefeller, Rothschild, I think, got together and had a secret meeting about setting up a central bank, uh, which they did, the Federal Reserve Bank, which then printed all the money and ripped everyone off with fractional reserve banking. George Bush. Merrill Lynch. Ain't no justice, that's just us. Yeah, no justice, just us, Pop. So here we are in courtroom number one, uh, which is going to have the likes of uh, Tony Blair, maybe Boris Johnson, maybe some of the top uh, bankers who've been running the fractional reserve central banking system that's been ripping off the planet for so long. Um, maybe some of the government ministers who are trying to criminalise homeless people. Uh, apparently we're going to try them in absentia, which means they probably won't turn up. But proper evidence is going to be presented and I think we've got proper uh, solicitors and barristers willing to make the cases. Apparently Tony Blair and Bush were just recently, in the last month or so, convicted in Malaysia under the Nuremberg principles of war crimes in Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, so I think we're going to be getting in touch with Malaysian authorities to get some of that evidence and present it here. You know, the, the, the aim of Occupy Justice that's been stated on taking this place was to put the 1% on trial. 1% owns over 70% of the land in this country. We need some justice, we need some redistribution of land, of wealth, of resources. If we all share, there's enough for everyone on this planet. And uh, this Occupy Justice project is just one part of that redistribution. So this is the old Shoreditch Magistrates Court, apparently it's been empty since 1996. What a waste of an amazing building that could be used for community facility, environment project, a whole range of different groups could have been used in this building for the last 15 years. Instead it's lied empty and derelict. Uh, we're tidying up, we're repairing it. It's a grade two listed building, so we're asking everyone that comes in to respect the building uh, and to look after it and respect the people that are you know, keeping it going as, as a project.